Oh, Okie dokie. Um, and we're back to the fourth coaster. I never did this on the night. Um, so I just want a, a set of four really, um, which I'm hoping to raise enough to. As you can see, this paint is pretty bubbly. Um, as I've, I've had them in bottle, I've, I've just literally shook them up. I might just get rid of some of these bubbles as I go along, because I'm not expecting any sold at all. So, it's going to be a long drawn out process, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the circles are not circles. It doesn't matter. It's not going to end up as a circle anyway, so... <laughs> Don't catch your paint on fire. Not recommended. Try a bit this yellow. Said lemon yellow. A bit. This paint's been standing quite a while after I shook them up, and I don't know. They're going to need a lot longer to um, settle down. But I just wanted to try this one. Just carry it on as I go along. That's a bit better now. Now I'm going to do each one. No real problem. Um, it's the green now into. That's coming out much better now. If you wonder what the clicking noise is, I've, the old torch is it's gone. So basically I have to light it with this lighter, then catch the flame off it. Right, I'll put some red in this, I forgot to use the red last time by the looks of it. That's very bubbly. That was very bubbly. Just turn this round a little. Doesn't matter where I put it really, it's um it's because of all the, the amount of paint where I'm putting on it, it's just dripping. Doesn't matter which way I face it or how much I elevate it. This was just going to be a quick video, but obviously it's taken a bit longer. I mean, to get the bubbles out. Actually, that don't look too bad now.
that does. It's no real problem. Keep on doing this. I'm not bothered about using the extra paint, just because it's uh, further down here, making some nice skins. Quite cool, actually. I just noticed uh, recently, if you put music on in the background, uh, you cannot monitorize your videos. I recently just learned that, um, because I've only just started monitorizing it. So, it was quite a battle to get monitorized. Uh, after I had a website before and I was on a radio show and people started clicking like mad on it and I got, I think it was some like 300 clicks in a, a few minutes so no, don't ever do that, not recommended, uh, it was through no fault of my own, just mentioned my website and everybody thought oh we'll click that link, make him some money, no didn't work. So just be careful if you get people to do clicks for you, you will get the band on it. So unfortunately. Just getting to be a bit of a pain now. Literally a pain in my shoulder. Um, for those of you interested in it, uh, I will be going for an MRI scan in a few weeks to make sure that the shoulder isn't anything underlying and make sure I've got nothing wrong with it and that they treat it for the uh, wrong thing. So. We'll see what happens on the I'm telling you personal stuff. I always said I'd never told personal stuff on air, but what the heck. I think we're good enough friends now, aren't we? Alright, just going near to the end now. Loads of paint left, but it's maybe a set of six courses yet. <laughs> uh, so what I want to do... Uh, I'll just try and do this again, the way of the camera, too much. Uh, can you see that skin below? Looks really cool. So, let's see if I can just run some of this off. Oh, in the middle I've got a... It's a pot of um, PVA glue, which, which did sort of sort of go off. Um, it came out in lumps, 
But so we're mixing all my paints up so I had to start all over again before a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, so that's why. So I thought I'll use it to uh, just steady everything, which I always do. Nothing worse than sort of doing a pour and then it falls over. So if you've got a bit of weight in the bottom, you should see you're right. I'm just going to touch this at the end, see how it turns out. I just don't want it full of cracks though, because it is thicker paint. So the thicker you've got it on here, the thicker it's going to uh, dry, and there you have more chance of cracking. That just as it is. Um, the only problem is it's not going to stay like this because it will want to get off because it has got a really thick uh, layer of paint on it. It's got a few cells there, what I didn't expect. Maybe it's because this torch is a bit higher than what it was the other day. I'm not bothered about cells though. Underneath is quite nice, nice skin. Uh, I think I'll just leave it there. As I said before, I won't be doing any close ups with the video camera, but we'll do a close up with my phone's camera. So, it should look alright when it's done. It may still move a little um, change and change from uh, when you see these photographs but I don't think it's going to change that much. I'll have to wait and see really. Um, I just want to say thank you to my donators. Uh, without you I wouldn't be able to afford all these materials. Um, and I just love answering your comments. Uh, no matter how silly they are. <laughs> I've had no really bad comments up to now. Uh, very few thumbs down, which I'm, I'm not bothered with the thumbs down. It's not, you know, it's not the be all and end all. It's the thumbs up and subscribers and the people who like my work, what matter. Alright, enough waffling. Uh, I'll go now to the, uh, the camera for the close ups. <laughs> Thank you. 